you guys, can we just take a second and talk about how every evil decision that she made in Descendants 3 was justified? I mean, picture it. You were just a girl in the village doing all right. Then you became a princess overnight. Well, not overnight. You were born into a royal family. But, like, your life is perfect. You're, da you're dating the guy at the school, you know, but then this guy decides to come up with this miraculous plan to bring VKs to Oridon without your consent or your co consultation, if you will. All for this chick to show up and uh, basically ruin your entire life. She casts a spell on your love. He sings a song confessing his love to your rival and then you're stuck having a date the second hand jockey that's stupid and doesn't understand what he's doing and then you have one last stitch effort to get the guy back so you change to a vk chic type style right trying to get his attention and then he still ends up marrying her so you go to the evil museum where your rival's mom's evil shrine is pick up her staff pick up the crown and become your own queen honestly i have nothing to say that is negative Everything she did was justified. She is the one villain where I'm just like, you know what? I don't hate you. Because everything you did was justified from the very beginning. All because Mal decided to ruin your life. Because she wanted to take over the Ordon, but then she changed her mind last second and ended up with Ben. Honestly, I'm not mad at her. Best villain in the Descendants franchise. And uh, honestly, you can't hate her. Because everything she did was justified and backed.